Hey guys, I recently got a question about what my favorite journals were that I've used or maybe like my top 9 or 10 favorite journals are. Well, I have 7 because I could not pick 9. I didn't want the video to be forever long. And I knew if I did 9 or 10, that it possibly could be, so. I am going to start off with three that are favorites because of the quality of paper. Partly, and then the other part is my fiancé got them for me. The first one... Which, if you've seen the flip through, which is surprisingly my most popular flip through, just by that, you'll know which one I'm talking about. And it is this one right here. This one was gotten at Claire's, along with the purple unicorn one, which I also have over there. But I'm not going to pull it because I like to do this one a little bit better. I. I really love this one for the fact that John got it for me is, but I liked the paper. Like I thought it was surprisingly thick for it being at a kid's store, quote unquote. That's what a lot of people in my city call it. I don't care, I still go there anyway. But, and I know it didn't last me that long once I actually started to use it, but I still really liked this one a lot, so I'm definitely going to have to get another version of this, whether it's the cat or panda, I did, not this panda, but a different panda one, so this is the first one, which is going to go up here. The next one was also one from my uh, fiance from Claire's again, and it is this one. The Smile Sunset Girl. This one, again, didn't last me that long. I'm trying to see. Yeah, this lasted me like 20 days. So. I know. But this didn't last me crazy amount, but I still liked it overall. I liked the line space in this because it was fairly small, the line spacing. Apologize for the curse word on that page. I didn't even realize it until I just zoomed it in. But I knew how to edit it. I would edit, I would edit that out, but anyway. But I think the price of this one was like twelve fifty or something like that. American. Because I know in Canadian it's like fourteen fifty or something. Could be wrong about that. But I know it's like twelve something here and in Canada it's like fourteen something there, so but yeah. Really like this one. I also love the Paris one that he got for me from the same line. It's his dream. It's actually again in the bin behind me, but you guys have seen that one if you've seen flip through. It was I think the volume twenty nine, either twenty eight or twenty nine, I can't remember. I know this one was twenty four and this one was number seven. So I do remember these two. And then the last one that my fiance got for me that I really, really like, and this is 16, so if you've been watching my flip throughs in order, you'll know immediately what this one is. And it is this big black one here. Now, I know Walmart sells these for like eight to ten dollars. Of course, it depends on where you where you live. I know when we got mine, it was less than ten dollars, but I know that they have since 
dropped the prices on this particular one significantly, so you might be able to get this one cheaper. But this is just a faux leather, and it's got the binding like this, so it'll look nice on a shelf if you store your journals in a bookcase. Brian and Amanda, I know how you store your journals because I've seen it your videos, which for the people that are talking stuff about you girl, just ignore them. You know the truth for yourself about how you are, how your family is, but don't let people bring you down. I know this is going off on a complete tangent, but I just wanted to let her know you do not need to keep people attitudes within you and it makes you not want to film or post anything. So I just wanted to get that out there and if you guys want to subscribe to her or go follow her I will link her channel below. But back to this journal. Now I know that Walmart is more common in Canada than Target because I know there was a brief period where Target came to Canada because it replaced all the Zellers and then Target didn't last that long and it closed down. Although I've heard some areas still have it so I'm not sure but I know that Walmart is a lot easier place to find or it's like this so. I'm hoping to find another leather one, not another one of the bees per se. I don't know, maybe. That I can use. I would just decorate the front different. So those are the three from John that are my favorite. And then I have four that are my favorite just because of my personal preference. So the first one is this one, which I just feel like everybody and their mother has. This is the Spirit of Flight, is how I titled the flip through journal. And this one I picked up at Barnes and Noble for, I would say like $15. 15, 16, something like that. And um, I really like the paper quality in this. I like the fact that the paper is thick enough to for it to hold gel ink without it spreading. My one issue with this though, the line spacing is a little bit too big for my liking. I write on the smaller side. I don't write incredibly tiny, but I write on the smaller side. So for big line spacing like this, it just, it can get annoying trying to make it fit. Let's just phrase it that way. So, And this one is volume 27. If you've watched my flip throughs from the first one on, which if you have, I love you and I appreciate the support on those because those take a considerably long time to film if you've watched the flip throughs. The next one is one I titled The Tree of Life, I think. Yeah, and it is the Barnes & Noble leather bound that I got. Now, for those of you that are like, no leather, this is faux leather, I'm pretty sure if it is actual leather, I remember in the past Barnes & Noble saying that they do not contain actual animal hide in their leather, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case with Barnes & Noble leather products. So. I know there are a lot of vegetarians and vegans out there who will be like, oh, why'd you get leather? But that's just what I've heard. I could be wrong. I need to do more research on that. 
but I like this one for one reason is because it's my first leather journal. I've actually only wanted a leather journal. And two, the paper is extremely thick on this one. Sorry, I feel like I need to burp. And holds really like the thicker inks really, really well. So if you write with, say, fountain pen, you would really like these because the paper is thick enough that you could write with a fountain pen without worrying about it bleeding through. I need to take a picture of this one and send it to the Inky Leaves on Instagram because she's been looking for journals that works well with them. Falcon. So, I have to tag her in a, a picture of this one. But, I also like how long it lasted me because this one lasted me about a month and a half, a little over a month and a half, so, which is good for me because a lot of journals tend to only last me a couple weeks, 20 days, a month, so it was nice to have one that last me a good amount of time. Okay, this next one was the one that Robin got me for Christmas last year, which again, girl, if you're watching, you did not need to do, but I appreciate it all the same, and it is the Universe Journal from just the brand on this one again. I forget. Uh, Peter Popper Press just came to me because it's the same brand as this one. But it looks like this. She picked this up for me from Mars Noble. And I really love it for one because she gave it to me, but two, it was very durable. I could carry it around in my purse without worrying about it getting scratched, nicked, or anything like that. So I did like that about it. And overall, I would get one in this style again. My issue again, Peter Popper Press, the line spacing in these is too wide. But that is just personal preference. If you write kind of big, you might like these. If you write super small, then you will not. So. That is my only issue. Otherwise, I, I would keep getting these. And definitely would consider more of this brand in the future if the line spacing was different. And lastly, my last favorite journal is, of course, the one that started it all. This one. This is a Hello Kitty one from Target, but I believe you can probably find it online, on like Amazon or something. And I loved the fact that this had the two different color pages, like there's pink and then Here's the blue, so I did like that. I also liked the fact that the line spacing was fairly narrow. It wasn't like you know, crazy hectic in terms of it being super thick or super narrow, which I appreciate because, again, of my writing style. And I also liked the fact that this was, you know, the one that started it all essentially, that started my journaling journey was with this one, so I really love it for that reason. 
Okay guys, that was the end of this top 7 favorite journals. Let me know down below some of your favorite ones that you've used or the one you're currently using maybe. Or maybe even some that you're waiting to do in the wings because I will be filming that in right after this. So, But I hope you all did enjoy this video nonetheless. And I will talk to you guys in another video another time. Bye, Rose.